is interesting. Hit me with it. I go. I went with Emmanuel Sanders, another sort of slim build guy. I mean, there was always talk that mm-hmm. Sanders was actually below 180 pounds at one point, but um, you know he's but, a little but shorter. Plays tough. Plays tough. But plays size. tough. Yeah. That's that's my point. He's got the speed to take the top off. Not now, but I mean that is in his prime. You know, the the version we saw, you know, four or five, six years ago, obviously was a big playmaker as well. I felt like he had a pretty well rounded game, and I think that's about the level of player he'll be. That's why I gave him a little bit of a relatively tepid grade. I didn't go bonkers and, and put him up next to Chase. The more I thought about it, the more I think he's he's an ideal complimentary receiver. He could be a number one. You know, Emmanuel Sanders has had some really good years in this league, but um, I just couldn't quite get on board with giving him a little little higher grade. But you, you yours style-wise makes, you know, perfect sense. I mean, maybe I'm being biased because of the Crimson Tide connection, but I I, went with Calvin Ridley, you know, but this was also a player that uh, I I think stylistically they're same, you know, he's obviously a little bit thicker than, um, than Smith is, but someone who, when they came out was thought to be, this is, they're, they're a slot player. This is what they do. You're going to need to have a Julio Jones outside presence to get the most out of them, you know, pulling away this tougher coverage that you're talking about. And we saw certainly last year with Julio Jones in and out of the lineup dealing with the soft tissue issues that Calvin Ridley can be a wide receiver one. And I think in the right system with the rights in the right scheme, um, I have that ceiling as well for Smith.